Hi all, welcome back to another video. So what is deferred revenue? Deferred revenue are the advance payment received by the customers for the services or product that yet to deliver or yet to render. So such payments are considered as liability for a company because the company might receive the amount from the customers but they are still offs to the customers. So the company cannot report such revenues or such incomes in the income statements or company's profit loss statements. These future revenues are considered as deferred on the company's balance sheet and can be only recognized once the uh, period is over. So let's check how to handle deferred revenue in Odo 16 accounting module. We can calculate deferred revenue by setting a deferred revenue model. So just go to the configuration menu and you can choose the model. So we have under management deferred revenue models. So let me create a new model. So when you get into the deferred revenue models, here we can see the details of deferred revenue name, uh, revenue account, and deferred revenue account, as well as number of recognitions, period, and length. So let me create a new model. So here we can see, uh, see the deferred revenue model name. So let's give a name for this. So let it be Netflix subscription and you can give the depreciation method that is a number of recognition so letting the number of recognition to be five and we can set the year of month of recognition so letting it to be five months and you can set the computation methods like we have different methods that is no pro rata uh that constant periods and based on these per period so letting the computation as con i mean uh no pro rata first and here we can give the accounting details like the company as well as the deferred revenue account. So let me choose the deferred revenue account as the fixed account or let me create a new one with it be deferred revenue itself. Now you can set the type. First we need to give the code and we can set the type as current liability and under automation you need to set the deferred revenue uh, as uh, no now you can save this and you can also add a revenue account so let's create a revenue account so revenue account will be uh, an income account we need to give the code okay now let me save and close this so we have created a model uh, for deferred revenue now under accounting tab you can see deferred revenue so let's create a deferred revenue here we can give the name of the deferred revenue so let it be uh, Netflix subscription and under revenue tab here we can give the recognition value so letting the value to be thousand so thousand uh, will be the amount that we're gonna use for this netflix subscription over five months and we can set the accusation period so letting the accusation period from first april and uh, yeah, we can set that first April. And here we can choose the model. So once you choose the model, here we can see that under accounting, all other details will be automatically configured. And here you can also set a depreciation value that is not deprecable value. So if I'm setting 100 as a deprecable value, then take 900, the value will be depreciated. And 100 will be always there as a balance that is non depreciable. Uh, amount so currently not setting any amount i think it to be uh, zero and you can click on save so that a uh, deferred revenue is currently saved now when you click on compute revenue you can see a revenue board will be triggered and under revenue board we can see uh, the net how the revenue is calculated so we know that uh, we have set the original value as 1000 
and uh, we have set uh, the recognition period as five months. So you need to consider the original value that is uh, 1000 and you need to divide with the period. So 1000 divided by 5 will be 200 will be the revenue for each uh, month. So we can see uh, for each month uh, as we choose the computation as pro rata, uh, the revenue for each month will be 200. So we don't have any previous period to set uh, to add the revenue. So we will be considering uh, the amount uh, or the revenue in the first month as a cumulative revenue. So in the next period, um, we only will have 800. That is uh, the cumulative amount uh, will be uh, deducted from the next, uh, that is from the original value. So let me show you the calculation. So let's back this. So we know that uh, we have 1000 as the total amount and you can divide it by 5. So you will get uh, revenue for one month. That is 200. Now what you need to do is that you just need to call the number of days in each month. So in, in the month of April we have 30 days. So you can divide it with 30. So you will get the revenue for one day. Okay, now what we need to do is that we need to consider a calculation that is total number of days minus uh, the date of today. So today is 12. So you can consider the day 12 days has left and we need to add one with that. Now just make the calculation. So you will get 126.67 as the amount. So this is how we calculate. Now we can subtract this from the original value. So in the month of April, the amount of 126.67 will be directed uh, or considered as a revenue. And next period, a revenue will be only 873.33. So when you subtract this, you will get that amount. Okay. Now we got that the exact amount and uh, as we don't have any previous period we will be considering the revenue in the beginning of the month as the uh, cumulative revenue so this step will be calculated uh, see in the upcoming months we have correct 30 days so we don't need to do any further calculation we only just need to consider the original value uh, I mean yeah not the original value, ah, yeah, just, uh, we'll be considering the original value and just divide it with by 5. So, for next, uh, all the months, you will be getting an amount of 200 because we have the exact month or complete month. So, for a complete month, the revenue will be 200. So, this is how uh, we calculate and finally, all the revenues will be, uh, integrated and you, you will get an cumulative amount of 1000. Okay, now let's back to the revenues and uh, let's change the computation method as based on periods per days. So we are considering the day at this acquisition date as of today. Now you can save the changes manually and you can compute the calculations. Now let me compute the revenue. So when you compute the revenue here, you can see the calculation. So in case of the calculation uh, that is based on period, we need to consider the number of days that exist in five months because we have set the recognition period as five months. So we need to consider the number of days exist for five months. So the total number of days exist for five months will be 153. Now we need to consider uh, the original value. So 1000 is the original value and you just divide it with the total number of days for 5 months. So that is 153. So you will get an amount of uh, 6.53, um, 5.9 and so on. Now we know that 12 days has left from the month April. So we just need to consider the total number of days that exist in the month of April and you need to subtract the total number of days that has left that is 12. Now just add one with uh, 
this in order to compensate. Now you uh, just calculate the result. So you can see that the result that is the revenue uh, is one twenty four point one eight will be the revenue, and that revenue will be considered as a cumulative revenue. And you can calculate the next period revenue. So let me subtract the amount from the original value that is thousand. Now you will get the amount as eight seven five point eight one. So by uh, this will be rounded and set it as eight seven five point eight two. Now you can see uh, in next month we have uh, divided the original value with the number of days. Uh, so you will get uh, the amount and uh, we have a complete month. So you just need to multiply it with 31. So you will get the amount uh, of the revenue as 202.61. And you can see the total revenue will be calculated. That is the cumulative revenue will be calculated as a sum of uh, 202 plus 124.18. Now, uh, you can subtract the uh, total amount from the uh, existing next period uh, revenue so that you will get 673.20. So, these steps will be repeated. Uh, a little bit of calculations will be only differ from each of the computation. Now, you can see here we have uh, the amount as 196.08. Uh, so, just consider... Uh, the original value divided by 153 days and you can multiply it with the number of days existing and month so we have 30 days left so when you calculate that you can see the amount is 196.0784 that is rounded and set as 196.08 so uh, the further step is same as that of the calculation of previously explained so hope you feel the topic and thank you for watching the video